Hello everybody and welcome back to Weirdio, the only channel on YouTube that has teeth. That's right, N none, of, none of the other guys here have teeth, it's really fucking weird. Anyway, today we're reacting to a classic YouTube video. Six years ago, you know, old timey. Anyway, uh, I this video says read the description, so I I was like, oh, okay, this person has probably learned that this video is bad and they're just a stupid kid or whatever. But no, they say nothing about that. They're like, any mistakes I've made in this video? Yeah, I will admit. I should have talked about the gospel more, actually. <laughs> Not say that it's okay to be gay or what or trans or whatever. No. That's my my only regret is just not talking about the gospel more, you know. So we're still gonna make fun of this person, even if they are a little kid. I'm not. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't actually know if they're a little kid or not. I can't tell. I'm the person who thought that girl that was going a little viral before, you know, the one that thought like Europe is a different planet than America or whatever. I thought she was a kid. Apparently, she's like an adult. I don't know. Anyway, let's just, yeah. Hello, people of YouTube. It is me, Lil PS Fan, and it is June, which apparently now is respect us and accept it, or otherwise we will bully you into submission, you religious bigot month. I, I mean, pride month. Same. <laughs> so okay, wow, that's actually... That's actually really fucking funny, dude. Yeah, hell yeah, fist bump. Uh, fucking... If you don't want to respect people for something they can't change about themselves, yeah, you you should get bullied, actually. That's actually the one time bullying is okay. Today, I will be responding to some LPS videos that are in support of the LGBTXYZ movement. Haha, <laughs> dude, yes! You totally own them! Fucking high five, bro. That's so fucking funny. Hey, what does the XYZ stand for? Oh, shut up, I don't use Twitter, I don't use Twitter. Okay, um... What's it, what was I gonna say? Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> that quirky camera tilt. Mm, oh boy. This one's gonna be a doozy. Coming out. Uh, I hate that rainbows had become an LGBT thing because you know who created a rainbow? God. Why did. Should have trademarked it. That's all I have to say. You should, dude, should have trademarked it. Did he create it? Was to show a promise that he made to the world that he will never flood it ever again. That's what a rainbow represents. And then people just. Then why have we gotten floods again? Care to explain that? God's like, I won't flood the whole world at the same time. Certain places, on the other hand, get a tsunami. <laughs> Twisted it and made it their own thing, and that's horrible. What if you had, you made something, and that was your symbol, and then people just twisted it to their own ideas that you don't... That's actually what happened with the Swatska. Swats Fuck, I can't say. You know, the Nazi symbol. Yeah, a lot, a lot of other content. Con fuck, a lot of other content creators would have censored themselves there, you know, to not get flagged by YouTube. But your boy here is a little quirky. I'm a manic pixie dream girl, actually. <laughs> Anyway. Support. That would be horrible. But it's okay. Do it to one of God's symbols. You only have to come. Oh, yeah. I was going to say that 
the swastika was also, you know, originally a Buddhist symbol, but it, but the Nazis took it and twisted it into something bad. So, are, like, LGBT, are, like, queer people fucking the new Nazis? Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. Out because there is this crazy preconceived notion that we're all born straight and cisgender. You know why that is? That's because most people are. LGBT people are a minority for a reason because. Whoa, for a reason? <laughs> Wait, what? No, they're like, they're a minority because they are one. But you. Okay, maybe I'm just misunderstanding what she said. But the way she said it made it sound like they're a minority for a good reason. Because <laughs> they shouldn't be the majority. Most people are, for lack of a better term, normal. Cisgender, meaning the gender you were. Jesus. Really, for lack of a better, there's a better term. They literally said it, cis and straight. Uh. Signed at birth. We're not assigned a gender at birth. No, you literally are. They're like, ah, okay, you got a penis? I assign you boy. You have a vagina? I assign you a girl. Boom. You get the little pink towel -y, and you get the fucking little blue blanket. Boom. I've seen people say that a lot, but you are not assigned. You are born a specific gender. I was talking about how she'd seen one of my friends who was dating a woman at the time, and my mom could easily tell that she was the guy in the relationship because she had short hair. Now listen, I know this sounds homophobic. When people say they're the guy in the relationship, they just mean that they are the more masculine one. And I don't understand that like if you're a chick when you want them to act like a chick or if you're a guy when you want okay fucking <laughs> no you want them to just be what it is it doesn't matter how you act they just want you to be what it is which is if if you identify as it yes there are some lesbians who want to traditionally girly girlfriends but some also like the masculine style on girls it doesn't make them a man it just makes them masculine and then i know a bunch of transphobes are gonna say oh a bunch of jordan peterson fans are gonna probably be like so what you're saying is that just because you're masculine doesn't make you a a man okay so why does when a why when a trans man is is masculine but still a female why that should just mean they're a, a girl that's masculine no because it's all about intent what you intend like what you feel like you can either be masculine or not be masculine and still choose to be a man or a woman you know? Okay. want the other person to not be feminine when you want him. I don't... Nothing makes sense! But trust me. Because you're a dumbass. It's okay. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> there is a difference between being uneducated on a topic versus being straight up hateful. And there is a difference between being hateful and not agreeing with something. N n not when it comes to this, though. Sorry, usually that's true, like, if you're like, I, I don't agree chocolate ice cream is that tasty, but you know what, you go ahead. Yeah, that doesn't really work when eating chocolate ice cream is something that's illegal in certain places, and you could fucking die for, <laughs> and chocolate ice cream eaters haven't had rights, like, in forever. You know... As she was saying this stuff, I tried to say, that's not right, or that's not how this works. I know everything, and you know nothing. 
I'm also in a relationship with another girl who has long hair and wears makeup. Neither of us are the guy because we are both two women in a relationship. Now, I can't remember her reaction. So you were having a relationship behind your parents' back? Or just not- What a loser. <laughs> She's fucking like, uh, b behind your parents' back? They didn't- you didn't get their approval? You didn't get your mother's wedding dress and dance around? Not telling them? After I told him that me and my then girlfriend were more than just gal pals, he never even batted an eye. I know I am a very lucky person to have such a loving family. A loving family? So if they said anything bad about her or didn't want you to do that, they wouldn't be a loving family? If the reason was because she's an our girl, yeah, that wouldn't be a loving family. That would be a hateful family. Because they're hating on your girlfriend just because she's a girl. If she was an asshole, that would be another story, because they're looking out for you. But if there's nothing wrong with your partner, it, it would be the same if, the, if it was a straight couple. If, the, if they didn't like the boyfriend for no reason, that would still be a hateful family. But also, it's extra hateful when it's someone queer because of, like, all the, you know, background... You know, things don't happen in a vacuum. Like... We exist in a world with con where stuff, certain things have connotations and support certain things. You know, sometimes parents don't agree with what you think is right. And it is possible to still love someone and not agree with them. That's how God sees all these gay and lgbt -ness. He still loves you, but he doesn't agree with it, and he says- Then he can go fuck himself. My phone is at 15%. <laughs> it's wrong, but he still loves you. It had absolutely nothing to do with the fact that we were both ladies. I think that's actually the only thing that kept us going as long as we did. Yeah, because you wanted to feel cool for being different. Hey, are you gay? I say yeah, women are great. Uh, men are great too. My sexuality. Okay, but not to them, and that's okay. Not everyone needs to be gulp, gulp, gulping on. <laughs> not, not everyone, no, no. Not everyone needs to be with a guy, you know? Because in that case, you're saying men are great too. Okay. She, she supports gay guys, guys, I guess. Because she's like, yeah, men are great. But she doesn't support gay men. So she, she's only like, men are great if you're a woman. It does not define who I am. That is very true. You want to come out officially, post about it, and have an event then you do that, and I think you are an amazingly brave and amazing individual. How about I come out as a straight Christian? Oh, then I- You dumbass! <laughs> you don't need to, because everyone's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> like, yeah, the majority- you literally said this, the majority of people are straight fucking white Christians. So, why the- f well, not, she didn't say white Christian, but the majority of people are straight because the LGBTQ is a minority group. So why the fuck? Like, are you like... Fuck, if I, what was I saying? <laughs> Shit. Uh... Oh yeah, why are you like, why can't straight people come out? Because they're the majority. Like, yeah, no... If you, someone says they're straight, you're gonna be like, yeah, 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 no shit. If someone says they're gay, you're gonna be like, oh, I didn't think that. Unless they're, like, really fruity looking. But you know what I mean. I wouldn't be an amazing individual. Hey guys, it's Vivian here. Okay, this video is draining me. This is all I can take. 14 minutes of this, boom. Post on the YouTube channel. If you want me to react to our parts of this horrible video, like, let, let me know, you know? How did I get 14 minutes out of 5 minutes of this? 
I don't know, but I did. Uh, see, see me in the next video where I be alive. Bye.